Hey guys, it is Julie here with JT Wealth. If you are new to investing or just don't know where to start, then this video is for you. Today's video is the first in a series that we're gonna show you how to invest just $50 a week into dividend paying stocks and where your portfolio can be in 25 years if from doing just that. So let's get into it. All right, guys, welcome back to all of our subscribers and hello to everybody new. Today, I am wearing my party shirt and I am sipping on some bubbly because we are celebrating. We just hit 1,000 subscribers. Holy smokes, guys, that is so amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate the support so much. Okay, so as I mentioned, today is the first video in a new series we're doing where we're gonna show you how we are investing $50 every week into dividend stocks. How does $2,000 a month in dividend income sound? Pretty good, right? So we're gonna go over exactly what stocks we are invested in this week and break down what it will take to get you to that $2,000 a monthly income goal. Now, this series is being done in collaboration with our YouTube buddies, Sam from My Financial Friend and Logan from Logan Fisher. We are gonna be doing a range of investment price points. So Sam has already started doing his videos and he's doing them at $100 invested per week. And Logan is gonna be starting with $25 per week. So no matter how much you have to invest right now, there is a video in this series for you. Now there will be links to both of their pages down in the description below. Okay, so in this series, we are going to invest into between one to three dividend paying stocks each week. Uh, at times, we may be investing additional money into some stocks that we've already covered, but you will see every single investment that we make into this portfolio every single Friday. To make this as easy as possible to track and manage, we have started a brand new M1 finance portfolio that will solely hold the investments for this series. Now, as a side note, you do need to move over $100 to M1 for a new portfolio. So we've invested $50 this week and left the rest in cash for next week. All right, let's get right into this week's stock picks. So here is a screenshot of my current M1 finance portfolio. Uh, you can see that my $50 was split fairly equally among these three different stocks. Now, M1 Finance does allow you to do fractional shares, which is very helpful. Um, and when you're putting your money in, you just need to choose your stocks and then set how much of your portfolio you want invested into each. As you can see, this week I invested in Navient, Shaw Communications, and the S&P 500 High Dividend Low Volatility ETF. Now, let's go through each of these one at a time. And first up is Navient. So these guys are a student loan company. They recently were listed by JP Morgan as one of two high yield dividend stocks to buy now. Navient services 10 million individual student loans worth a collective $300 billion. And although the Roni virus has made it difficult for people to be making some of their loan payments, Navient benefits from federal law in the fact that they don't allow these student loans to be discharged in bankruptcies. So no matter the economic climate, these guys are collecting their money. One indicator of this is definitely that they've been able to maintain their dividend payments throughout this crisis. Next up is Shaw Communications, and these guys are a Canadian communications and wireless company who have made a lot of recent investments into the 5G network. So they provide telephone, internet, TV, and wireless services to Western Canada. And they're a really strong company as everyone needs these services. And in this realm in Canada, there really isn't a lot of competition between companies of this size. And our third purchase this week was the Invesco S&P 500 High Dividend Low Volatility ETF. So these guys are neat as they take the top 75 dividend paying stocks from the S&P 500 in the last 12 months. Uh, they're only allowed to take 10 stocks from each sector. And they then, from that 75, narrow it down to 50 stocks that had the lowest volatility in that same 12 month period. So like most ETFs, they give you access to a very diverse grouping of stocks that all fit the same strong dividend criteria. 
Okay guys, now let's get into the numbers with all of these. So I used a dividend calculator from MarketBeat that you can see here. First up is Navient. So you just go through and you can put in the details of each stock, the share price you got it at, uh, annual dividend yield. So we have 7.86% here for Navient. Number of shares, I put in two and a half because that is what we currently have on our M1 Finance app. And then the annual contribution. So with $200 a month, we're doing 2,400 annually. So I just divided that by three to kind of math out for you guys what it would look like if you only did these three stocks for the next year. Now we have a quarterly distribution coming out and we're gonna keep it in there for 25 years. Now on this next slide, you can see after 25 years, our balance is gonna be over $125,000 with over 525% return, which is very impressive. Next up on our list is going to be Shaw. So you can see here, very similar calculations. The big difference is that this distribution frequency is monthly. It does show our share price in there at 17.92 and their annual dividend yield of 4.91. What I didn't mention on the last side as well, the bottom left there, that drip, that's the dividend reinvestment plan. So what that means is when these companies are paying out dividends every month or quarter, that money is then buying more of those same shares. So that really helps helps grow the money there. So on Shaw here, you can see after 25 years, this is growing up to over $78,000 with a total return of 293. Uh, and I'm gonna move on to the S&P. Don't worry, we're gonna add up all these totals at the end here. And lastly here, like I said, we have our Invesco S&P 500 uh, High Dividend Low Volatility ETF. This is another monthly distribution. We have our share price at $33.82, that same annual $800 contribution, and at 5.32% annual dividend yield. And if we add that all up, that takes us to $83,904.14 with a total return of over 300%. Okay, so now what do all of these numbers really mean and what do they add up to? So keep in mind, this is just if you stick with $50 a week split among these three stocks for the next 25 years. It's not increasing that amount ever, it's just sticking with that $50. So here are the totals. After 25 years, you would have $287,878.06. So keep in mind, if you're investing $50 a week, that's $2,400 a year. And if you're doing this for 25 years, that principal amount is only $60,000. So that means that between dividend payments and compound interest, you've made over $225,000. That's not bad. Now, remember when I mentioned that $2,000 a month of dividend income? That's where this comes into play. So if you look here, your annual dividend income is over 24,000 per year. That breaks down to over $2,000 per month. So say you are 25 years old and you start off with this $50 a week, $200 a month investment. By the time you're 50, you're gonna have over $2,000 a month income. And that's just dividend payments, guys. That's not even touching your principal there of that 287,000. Now, if you want to really further understand the magic of compound interest, I'm gonna recommend that you check out our previous video on money making money. And this, the link is gonna be down in the description below, really helps you see the importance of starting early, even if it's a small amount, right? The best day to invest was yesterday, and the second best is today. So even if you don't think you have enough, just start anyway, because it's gonna pay off humongously in the long run. Okay, so that is where my $50 was invested this week. Make sure that you do subscribe so that you can stay up to date with our series coming out here. Uh, leave a comment below. Let me know if this is helpful, if you're following along, or where you're putting your money. And make sure that you check out Sam and Logan's pages to see their videos and their stock picks. Thank you again so much for 1,000 subscribers. Have a fantastic weekend and cheers.